Here we're moving on to our plant theme, a section on leaves. So we started out with a very simple little dot, uh, I'm sorry, not dot to dot, fill in the blanks game. I just wrote up little sentences on the sheet of paper and I put some little leaves in this pocket and so all he has to do is take them out and fill in the blanks with their right leaves. Leaves are all shapes and sizes. So he puts this leaf on top. Leaves blank for the plant. Make food for the plant. So this helps him to remember simple little leaf leaves facts but in a fun little game way. Without blank plants would blank. Without leaves, plants would starve to death. And so this little game really helped those little facts to stick in his mind. He enjoyed that one. And then we put them back in our little pocket. Another page we did is different kinds of leaves. So we googled a few different types of leaves, some common ones here. And I wrote them on a little color paper and put them in the back like that. And then I drew them some very simple little drawings. And he has to match them. Banana leaf. And he puts it on top. Then comes pine needles. Grass blades. Grass is also a kind of leaf. Cherry leaf. And a maple leaf. So I'm sure you can come up with some of your own some of the more common ones in your in your country and that makes a good little game learning different types of leaves. Put it back in our back pocket and our next one each leaf has there's a few little blanks to fill in here they really seem to enjoy these little fill in the blanks with words like this rather than even just guessing or writing makes it into a fun little game. Each leaf has Veins. This was a fun activity. They really um, got cap. Uh, really enjoyed that. Looking at each leaf and their veins. I guess you don't really notice those things till you have a little study about them. The veins carry water to each part of the leaf. Then we talked about our bodies and we looked at our hands and our veins, and you can kind of compare the two. Our veins carry blood to the body and the veins of the plants carry water to each part of the leaf. So they like that one. And then we cut out from magazines different pictures of leaves. If you look closely you can see the veins quite nicely. And then we went into the garden to find some of our own leaves. And actually I'll show you the next activity which is what we did. See, here are Dina's leaves with veins. Okay, so what I did is I just cut a color page of a leaf, a shape leaf, and then she had to draw her own little uh, veins. I helped her with the middle lines, and then she drew her own little veins on the sides like that. And Alvin did his own. Again, a middle line, and then I told him, well, then we have bigger veins, and so and then we have even smaller veins, and they get smaller and smaller. And so he drew some little fancy roads as well. Well, he called them roads. <laughs> oh yes, in the back, we went into our garden and we picked out different types of leaves and we colored with crayon. And then I cut them out and glued them here. And we found nice big uh, pages, a uh, picture of some leaves that showed the veins very clearly. So that was a fun little activity related to the leaves and the veins. Another one about leaves, some very interesting facts that I didn't even know is um, the amount of, well, because the leaves help make food for the plant, there actu there's actually a certain amount of leaves that you need for each fruit, which is very interesting. It says leaves not only make food for the plants, but they also make food for us. For example, a bunch of bananas or an apple. And so I, what I did is I cut out some leaves and they have these are banana leaves. It tells you how many banana leaves for, to make a bunch of bananas. So we researched that and then I cut the right amount. So we, my little girl had to count them. One, two, three. Anyway, we counted. It actually needs 
12 big banana leaves to make one bunch of bananas. Isn't that amazing? And for one apple, you need 30 leaves. Of course, the leaves are much smaller than the banana leaves, but still, that's a lot of leaves for one apple. So what I did here is I cut up little leaves and my son wrote, we counted by fives. I said, well, otherwise 30 is a little too many leaves to make. So we did them by fives. So he was five, he wrote them on his own here. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So those were very interesting little facts. Uh, we just got into those two fruits, and that's, those are some of their favorites. But I'm sure you can find out some more, or some of the main fruits that you have in your country. And then this little activity to finish off, which we haven't done yet. It says, we eat some leaves of plants. It says, make your own leafy vegetable. So they were going to make a little lettuce or salad. Certain. And with some different types of paper. I picked out three different colors of crepe paper. That way you can make different patterns, different textures, and they were going to come up with their own little leafy vegetable design to finish off our leaf study. I hope you enjoy these little ideas.